Good morning, home buyers. Good morning, home sellers. Today's topic is things you don't want to hear, part one of three. I'm Joseph Colgan, broker associate with Keller Williams Realty. We'll begin this morning with the Country Lane Neighborhood Market Survey. The most left column is the year. Second column is the number of homes sold. The third column is the average square fee followed by the average sales price and the average dollar per square foot. Notice that in 2021, we have already had three homes sold. However, that's not enough to establish a market trend. So we'll go to the last year's list and take a look at years 2011 through 2020. The highlights of this report are the average sales price in 2011 was $835,375. The average sales price in 2020 was $1,876,534. During that span, in one of those years, prices run, went down slightly. And in one of those years, prices went down almost $200,000. In the entire span, prices went up $1,041,159. This comes out to an average yearly gain of $115,000. Why am I focusing on such a narrow area? It's an area that I have walked and rode my bike through hundreds of times. During this ground game, I'm able to Pick up important details about the locations and conditions of the properties. The homes in this survey fall in a tight range between 58 and 63 years old. The lots usually range from 6,200 square feet to 11,800 square feet. All the homes in the survey are assigned the same elementary school with most parents walking their children to the school during pleasant weather. Why am I focusing on such a narrow area? The city of San Jose has a lot of unique communities, golf course communities, Willow Glen, Cumberland Valley, Rose Garden, and many more areas that are different price points than the other neighborhoods. If one of those areas has more or fewer sales than it usually does, it will imply market trends for the city that aren't relevant to our search. Why am I focusing on such a narrow area? This is only a starting point. We will consider many market factors when guiding you through a real estate transaction. Today, I wanna to look at the last column, the average dollars per square foot. In 2017, it was $947 per square foot. In 2020, it was $1,056 per square foot. It was a little, in other years, it's been a little higher or a little lower, but for sake of today's conversation, let's call it $1,000 per square foot. Why should, what you should know, but don't wanna know, what is the average dollar per square foot for the streets that you are looking in? What were the five lowest price sales within one mile of the street in the last six months? And how do those old homes compare to the homes on the market now? When you walk into my open house and you shout out your affirmation to the universe, I'm looking for a good deal. You think you look like this. When you don't know your numbers, when you won't do your research, when you won't do your legwork, through my eyes, you look kind of like this. Remember, time is money. Then homes in this neighborhood go up an average of $115,000 a year. And more importantly, in most years, the market surges by about $140,000 in a 70-day window. After that big surge, it goes north, it goes south, it goes east, it goes west, left, right, upside down, right side again. And it just meanders for the remaining 
six months, 15 months, whatever. But then again, in late December or February or April, nobody knows, it booms again and it jumps of around another $140,000 in less than three months. It might sound like I'm trying to rush you, but I do not want you to make a deal until you're comfortable. But I do want you to understand how important timing is to real estate transactions, especially if you want to succeed in this. I want to serve people and work hard for them. One of the things I like about this business is I don't win if you don't win. I don't get paid until you have a transaction <clears throat> emotionally and financially takes care of your family. Be sure to tune in next week for more things you don't want to know. You'll be able to find these videos on facebook.com country lane real estate or facebook.com real estate video pages or call or text me at 408-898-0186. Joseph Colgan, Keller Williams. I look forward to working for you.